Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. Hello, welcome to this presentation on the Message Bus Probe's HTTP Transport. This presentation will discuss primarily the webhook transport, as this is the latest HTTP listener. It will provide an example on how to configure the probe for SSL and how the probe can be tested using curl. The message bus probe supports three HTTP transports, two of which are HTTP listeners. The WebSocket transport is a connector and allows the probe to connect to REST API servers and collect events. The message bus probe is configured using a property file with a properties file defining the transport properties and a transformers file used for XML message processing. For the HTTP transport, all of the details are set in the transport properties file. In this example, the probe is configured to run a HTTP service on port 12345. Because XML messages are to be processed, the transformers XML file is used to define the endpoint, which has the same value as a server port set in the transport properties file. For the webhook transport, the host and port are set in the probe's property file. To mimic the HTTP transport, the webhook URI is set to slash in the transport properties file, with the value of the webhook URI used to define the endpoint in the transformers XML file. For the message bus probe to use SSL, it requires a CA root certificate and a client certificate signed by the CA root. The key store needs to be a Java key store created using the Java the probe uses, with the common name being the probe's server's fully qualified domain name. For the webhook transport, the SSL configuration is defined in the probe's property file. The enable SSL property needs to be set to true, and the Java key store file and password defined. The default host property setting is the server's fully qualified domain name. The transport properties file only needs to define the webhook URI, but can also enforce the security protocol, which is a feature unavailable to the HTTP transport. The webhook URI could be set to some paths to mimic a client's requirement, if required. The curl command is a freeware client available on Linux and other platforms. It can be used to test that the probe is configured correctly and can create connections using the root CA certificate. In this example, a simple test message is sent to the host using its fully qualified domain name. The command line confirms 200 OK and echoes back the probe's details. The event would be dropped if the local host was used instead of the FQDN. HTTP was used instead of HTTPS. The CA root.sir file was incorrect. The message was incorrectly formatted. For the successful message, the probe's debug log file confirms the successful SSL handshake, the message size and format. The probe logs its response to the client, 200 OK, and logs the message out as tokens. Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.